so yeah, I just thought I'd go through like how I would prep for a show. And this can kind of apply to whether you're doing an online radio show or, or slash community radio show um, or, any, you know, something for the BBC. Um, because um, quite often, um, you know, people just think they're not very good. As, they're just not very good. They're not cut out for it. But actually their issue is that they're just not prepared for it. Um, and one of the things that like in, that I've seen with presenting particularly is like anything, like practice, 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 you know, becoming confident, becoming, becoming comfortable in it is, um, is half of it. And also having that preparation. So when, you know, when you see a, hear a BBC presenter, yeah, of course they've got like that natural, um, personality and warmth or whatever it is or expertise whatever whatever the reason is they're in that role but they do also have you know producers behind them feeding them lines giving them not like that feeding them um like <laughs> or maybe maybe um but feeding them research should i say um and yeah kind of directing them you know so they're not it's not all off their head you know what I mean like I think you think you think you just often you know and I've done it thinking that I can just walk into a radio studio and just talk um knowledgeably uh, and confidently about subjects um just off the cuff like I I definitely can't do that <laughs> like I need notes and a lot of presenters do need notes you know um so yeah so yeah, giving yourself the best chance possible. Um, and you might, you know, want to keep it, you know, music focused, but I guess if you're here, then you have an interest in, in radio as a medium and, and maybe the possibilities of that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would always have an idea um, of a running order in terms of like the playlist, what I'm gonna, what music I'm gonna play or what I might play. Um, and again, going back to Giles Peterson show, which I did work on for, for a while, um, you know, he would have a selection of maybe 40, I, don't, I can't remember how many, but a, like a large selection of tunes. And then the my job would be to go and just make notes on all of those tunes. Um, so he'd have like one tune per A4, pa A4 paper. So you'd have, I'd put down the title of the track, the name of the artist, the label, the year it was released, any other interesting facts, like three interesting facts about that of three kind of things you could say. Um, so that's how, you know, that preparation is done. It's not all in his head. Um, although it does sound like that, doesn't it? It does sound like it's just, he's just like super duper knowledgeable, which he is, but um, even, you know, someone that knowledgeable needs that. Cause like just in the heat of the moment, the artist's name who's been your favourite artist since you were five suddenly goes out your head and you know it's it's kind of it's quite terrifying in the heat of the moment sometimes um so yeah so you'd have a running order and then maybe like notes on all of those tracks another thing another top tip I would say is like if you have like a bit of a vocal uh, or like a certain phrases that you refer back to, you will find yourself repeating those a lot in a radio show. Um, uh, I do this. And so another good tip is to write some sort of alternatives. Like if you um, always say, oh, this track's a banger or whatever, like to just try and come up with some other words for that or some other ways of saying that and just have them there so the, if you're about to repeat yourself you maybe go for one of your other options um or just um some nice adjectives like when we listened to those clips um there was special special request was one of the the clips and he was like an amazing presenter like an amazing amazing storyteller really really knowledgeable you know so passionate um, amazing voice everything that he always, like, he, he overused the word mesmerising. <laughs> so it's just like we all fall into these little kind of habits. And so just having some alternatives um, there will stop that repetition. Um, so even if you don't kind of script your show word for word, it's quite nice to have bullet points of what you might say. 
I personally would always have a script of the intro. It's always the scariest one when you step up to the mic for the first time. Um, and you want to kind of think about how you're going to make that show enticing. It's the first thing people are going to hear potentially. That intro is possibly, you know, that first five minutes or that first minute of your show, first two minutes, whatever, is going to be the bit where people decide whether they're going to carry on listening or not. So making that as good as possible. I tend to like script my intros um, and then just bullet point the rest. Um, whether that's for like a, pre a presenter or, or for myself for my own shows, although um, I was, com yeah. Although I still, you know, even though I do workshops on this stuff, I still turn up, rock up to the radio studio with no notes <laughs> quite regularly. And I'm like, um, uh, yeah, another job. You, yeah. So, you know, you might have some packages, you might have a guest mix from someone, you might want to like edit that down um, and just make it as easy as possible for yourself when you're in the studio, basically. Um, uh, you might have some imaging, some jingles um, for your show that you want to prepare. prepare. Um, so, yeah, those are the things I would do for, you know, prepping for any show, really.